There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earned. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Eric, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kid, if I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. but we stock other stuff, too. Thank 
Thanks a bunch. I mean, yeah, it's a hard idea. How do you like a piping hot bun filled with the finest? Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud. Bro. I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that yeah. I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. You know, I really wish I could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze. Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but uh, I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! You again? Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh?
Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite a pretty little lady. Chocobo bean popcorn. Everybody's favorite Chocobo. Hey, I see the way you're looking at her. I was looking to confirm what I already knew. There is no one. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? She must not have a lot of money to spend. Why are we here? To see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? The audience is part of the court. We have to help make it a great show. Hey. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Tonight I will save her sweet, sweet... I tripped at this moment. The honeybee is... And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself. Our honored guest! This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! I guess. Come on, come on! The show's about to start! <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> Sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's blushing. <laughs> I can be hot, it can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the Honey Bee, in every moment.
Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval, do you? I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Can follow my lead. Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin!
True beauty is an expression of the heart, a thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid of it. That show today blew my mind! Look at me! I could dance too! How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was amazing! Drink. You can talk! Oh, Cloud! Was it planned now from the start? Was a show. Probably not. Did you see their look of surprise? Cloud? Yoo-hoo! Cloud! Hello? Hmm? Aerith to Cloud! Come in! Aerith to Cloud! Come in! Aerith to Cloud! Come in! Such beauty is the spice of life. Wouldn't you agree? There's nothing wrong with that. Please don't. Not a word. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty! I would give anything to get to know her! Hey, I want you on your own. Get away from me before I scream! Like I give it! Cornado has an understanding of the trio. Hey, little lady, have you lost the serpents? Oh, what's this? One magnificent cross. So close. It's just a piece of here you go again. Stop looking at other girls. Whoa, that is one hot chick. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so, come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. That one's Madame M's girl, Annie. And she's hot. Is that Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. So dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Good. Wait a minute. <gasps> Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. But tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Ladies, time to line up for the dog. Hmm. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? 
<laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Today's? Phantomorrow's. Or the day afters. If the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We, okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Don't you stupid! Wait! Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with gear. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? Better hurry. Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? Tagging out! Yeah, go on! Gotcha! Too late! <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! 
Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners, too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Man. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Cause if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the Director of Public Security, Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crashing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. <laughs> when they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> yeah. Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it.
Where in the... Damn it, Reeks. Aerith. Uh, uh, Cloud. Uh. We have to get to Sector 7. Yeah. Uh. That bastard! Duty calls. Can you take I'll over take for a bit? We've got to get through this. Ha! <laughs> 
get you down. Just taking a Take little over. break. Let's deal with that. I should probably heal up first. That's it! Bless them with your love and grace. Lives down here, or it was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? <laughs> I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But, if he was telling the truth... Hmm? And there's still a chance he was, isn't there? Then, we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. What is it? I'm pretty sure we can use these tunnels to make our way back to Sector 7. The sewers under Sector 6 and 7 should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those lessons? An avalanche saying, actually. We use them to move around the Undercity, in emergencies. Sure we're not lost? Positive. There should be a big waterway just up ahead. Let's find that first. Lead the way. You're dead. <laughs> Keep those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. Stay back! I'll show you what I can 
do. Okay. Good move. Moving on then. Corneo was telling us the truth. What do you think Shinra's really up to? I mean, they've got to have an endgame. But I can't imagine what it is. Destroying a whole chunk of the city just to get back at us doesn't make any kind of sense. Yeah, I can't imagine any way they could profit from it. It's gonna cost them a fortune to rebuild. Corneo's lying. He's gotta be. Locked up tight. But not if we use the skeleton key Jesse made. Huh. Does this mean it's in the water? We'll see. That's a power generator, all right. Wow. Talk about ancient. It's an antique. Older than the Mako reactors, even. It'll be a miracle if it still works. Let's end this quick. Not a problem. <laughs> Going in. You're mine. Go on. So long. And catch. Let's go.
this it? It worked! 